with only 2% of the world's oil reserves. Oil isn't enough. The United States consumes more than a fifth of the world's oil, more than 20% of the world's oil, just us. We only have 2% of the world's oil reserves. We consume 20, we've got two. We consume more than 20% of the world's oil, but have less than 2% of the world's oil reserves. You got that? Here's how they get to this mythical 2%. They're only counting what's called proven oil reserves. The truth is that 2% oil reserves figure is whatever the government says it is, whatever they allow the oil companies to drill. Here's the official definition from the nonpartisan Congressional Research Service. Proven reserves are known reservoirs under existing economic and operating conditions. The key word, you heard it right, existing conditions. The U.S. around 20 billion barrels in proven reserves, but the amount of the so-called technically recoverable oil is over seven times that. Those are the government's own figures, and we can get that oil using today's technology. Nothing has to be invented. In fact, the U.S. has nearly one and a half trillion barrels of oil. That's enough to fuel the present needs in the U.S. for around, get this, 250 years. That's according to the Institute for Energy Research. Listen to the former president of Shell Oil on how we can easily get back to producing 10 million barrels a day. The best source for new oil is the world's largest consumer economy, this country. We could go back to 10 million barrels if we had the permitting that would enable it to happen. We have the oil. There is more oil in this country that we're not allowed to get at than oil we're allowed to get at. But much of the oil is off limits thanks to the policies of this president, the Outer Continental Shelf, the Arctic National Wildlife Reserve, and more, and shale oil, where the United States has the largest deposits in the world, estimated by the government to be over two trillion barrels. Even when the production is not in this country, the president will do anything he can to stop it, like blocking the Keystone Pipeline. Also, what the president is refusing to acknowledge is the United States is in the middle of a great big oil boom, thanks to new technology like deep water drilling in the Gulf of Mexico. So, the president needs to stop with the 2% lie. The solutions are right in front of us, but this administration flatly refuses to explore them. All right. We've talked about speculators tonight, but who's the biggest oil speculator of them all? We'll name and shame and 